The Daphne Monastery designated by UNESCO World Heritage Sites for its significant historical and architectural value and stunning mosaics. One of the greatest masterpieces of the Byzantine Empire, this 11th century masterpiece is currently being refurbished. Situated 11 kilometers northwest of central Athens and surrounds a laurel grove. Daphne is the modern Greek name that means laurel grove. The Daphne Monastery was founded at the end of the 6th century AD on the site of the Sanctuary of Apollo which had been desecrated by the Goths in 395. This monastery knew prosperity and decline times, was severely damaged by barbarians from the north in the 9th and 10th centuries AD, sacked by Frankish crusaders in 1205. In 1458, immediately after the coming of the Turks it was abolished. The most important and famous of the mosaics is depicting of Christ Pantocrator watching over all from the crown of the dome. This medallion is recognized as representing high artistic quality and as one of the greatest creations in art. Christ is surrounded by 16 prophets at the base. At lower level we can see four biblical depictions of Annunciation, Baptism, Nativity and Transfiguration of Jesus Christ. This 11th century mosaic depicting Prophet Aaron, high priest of the groups of priests, and brother of Moses. Aaron has an important role as priest in the Bible, particularly in the Hebrew Bible. Gregory the Illuminator was the founder and first official head of the Armenian Apostolic Church. He converted Armenia from Zoroastrianism to Christianity in 301, making Armenia the first state to adopt Christianity as its official religion. He is venerated as a saint in the Armenian Apostolic Church and in some other churches. This mosaic depicting the triumphal entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem.
After the conquest of Athens by the Ottoman Turks from 1458 up to 19th century, the monastery was given back to the Orthodox monks, who constructed two-story buildings containing cells, storage rooms, a refectory and a gallery in the small churchyard. The architectural remains that were discovered during excavations to the south and west of the churchyard probably belong to buildings of auxiliary use from the Byzantine period. Nowadays the monastery is under restoration and visitors have a chance to appreciate its unique mosaics and Byzantine architecture. <laughs> 